Hi guys, welcome to a potentially new series here on Claims Quran Reality. I'm going to be reacting to a series on the Mohammed Hijab channel where he and some other dude announced they will react to the wild and hilarious claims by Zakir Naik. A brother makes a good point there. Well, at the same time, you're giving us a scientific approach to Islam while listening to a sickly sweet sing song background. Anyway, the claim is that they will be using classic exegesis, which precludes anything being scientific. So, the way I see it, this can swing two ways. Number one, they will continue with wild claims trying to sound sciency. Or two, they will go back to the more spiritual and mythological meaning, the classic god of creationism. Now, I can't see anything else here because the middle-of-the-road approach suggested by its authors a few years ago has completely failed, where he proposed a time-based reading and interpretation of the Quran. So I'm going to follow this and see whether these two will take the road saying science and embarrass themselves badly, or the road saying classic tafsir, away from anything scientific, the more realistic approach in my eyes. Now, just as an example, 2130 says something about heavens and earth, which has been taken by Zakir Naik to be representative of something he calls the Big Bang. Wait, he doesn't qualify either. So, this is supposed to be the science road. But reality and a scientific approach, then, shows this would be a huge mistake in the Quran, for various reasons I've laid out in all the videos. Now, the, the other hand, then the Jalalains and other Tafsir authors they are, are taking the words in the Quran as they are, without worrying about whether they represent reality or not, simply talking about a creator God who creates stuff we know. So I'm going to be watching this and I'm going to see if there's anything that I can do about this to put this back into reality. So we'll see what happens. Thank you.